Welcome back to Boomer's Playground, and today we're going to be going over coding exercise 21 in the Colt Steel Web Developer Bootcamp on Udemy. Um, this is probably another one that I see so many questions on, and I'm not sure if it's because he doesn't go over it in any of these, or uh, you know maybe he did it back here, and by the time you learn all this other stuff, it's just like found its way out of your head, and that's fine. So um, we're doing our first conditional, which is awesome. So get some practice conditionals to make your code repeatable and testable. I'm asking you to write a code inside a predefined function. Um, don't worry about what this is. We'll go over that in the course um, later on. Um, so you definitely write your code between these lines. And um, we have this parameter. We're not gonna, we'll talk about that in those, those exercises. Um, but you're gonna have access to num and if num is even, I want you to print out even, don't do anything if it's odd, okay. So if I'm gonna get a number, how do I know if it's even or not? Well, you know, zero, two, four, okay. Um, so I, I was really, really good at math, so I kind of have an idea of how to do this, but I'm gonna assume, um, you know, whoever I'm helping was not good at math because I know a lot of people are scared that math is required. And it's really, really not. Um, so I would just think anything else. Um, let's just do find if number is even JS. And so here, okay, oh, I like C I like CSS tricks. They're really good. Okay. Um, so uh, this is something I did uh, for the first like six months at my job. And I'm going to show you this just to show what you should not do. So, all right. Well, I don't know if this works or not, but let's copy, let's paste. And we don't want to return. We want to, what did it say? Print out. So we'll do console.log even. And then um, we don't care otherwise. And we want to do this. All right, so let's see if this passes. All right, and it didn't. And it should print even when the number is even. Reference error, so here's the actual error. Um, can't find variable value. Oh, value. Oh, well, that's because the variable is going to be named num. Right. And let's check this guy out. Okay, so that worked. Um, at my job, I would have done this, it would have worked, I would have pushed up an MR and moved on. And that is arguably the worst thing you can do. So this works, but I don't know how. What you wanna do is you wanna stop and you're gonna be like, okay, let's figure this out. So how does this work? So apparently this is doing something. So let's check that out. Let's do um, uh, that. JS, oh man, what the heck? I guess we just have to go to Google. I will do that, JS. Hmm. Okay. Um. Let's see. Um, no, nope, that's not the right one either. Okay. Oh, yeah. What is that? Let's see here. Um, so I think um, I think it might have been. So we're we're doing num, which is going to be a number, and this is a number as well. So this is probably a mathematical thing. So let's do js math percent. Okay. Okay, so that's not very helpful either. Oh, well, let's do this. So we'll do, so if you run into stuff like that, what I'll, oftentimes what I'll do is I will just do the whole line. Okay, and then yeah, so see here we get, oh no, we have Team Treehouse, so let's check this out. Okay. All right. So um, the first one is always gonna be the question. So you might wanna read it just to make sure it's the same thing. 
but then the second ones are always the answer. So, all right, I'm just going to expand a little on what James has already said. I know the modulo or modulus operator can be confusing for some. Okay, well, so now we have the name of it, which is good. And we can do JS and, oh, perfect. So right there, okay. Um, so let's not use it when we're reading it out loud. You could read it this way. If the number divided by two has a remainder of zero, then do this. Okay, so it's saying, all right. The remainder operator returns the remainder left over when one operand is divided by a second one. Ah. Okay, so um, I, I don't need to read this anymore, but if, if you needed to, go ahead and do it, and that's fine. Now I've got, now I've got enough information. And so MDN is nice because we have this thing right here. So let's just do 100 divided by, or modulo two. And I don't know if it's gonna show us what it is or if I have to log it. Yeah, okay, so I have to log it. And let's see what this is. Oh, all right, we get zero. Okay, well that, that tracks. So two divided by 100 is 50 with a remainder of zero. And so this is giving us the remainder, right? All right, so let's do 101. Oh, cool, we get one. I don't know if we do three, we get two. I actually don't know if that's right or not. Um, I guess we could do 101 divided by three, three, three dot six. So yeah, it seems about right. Okay, cool. Okay, well now we know what this remainder does. We had, it took us a second to find and that's okay, um, but we know what it does now. So what we're saying is if num divided by two, so this is the remainder, if that equals zero, we want to console log even. Well, how do we, like, why does this work? Well, any even number divided by two will be zero. Anything that's odd will be one. So by doing this, we're saying, okay, well, this could be any number in the world. And if it's even, dividing it by two will give us zero. The remainder will be zero. And so that's why this works. So, um, yeah, so that's kind of cool. So the, the big the big takeaway from that is the modulo takes the thing on the left, divides it by the thing on the right, and then it gives you the remainder of whatever that division was. The bigger takeaway from this is that it's okay to Google and find answers and try them, but once they work, I want you to stop, and I want you to challenge yourself, I want you to stop, and I want you to realize why does this work? And that was a big thing for me. Like I said, first six months at my company, I was so scared. I thought I had to be fast and I didn't. Um, but that's what, that's what kind of scared me is, you know, I need to get my stuff done super quick. So I would find the solution by copy paste. And then I wouldn't stop to be like, okay, what is this actually doing? And I would be so much further along in my knowledge if I would have done that. And I just didn't. So um, I hope you guys take take something from that, um, especially when you're learning this stuff. Now is the time. You know, imagine if I would have been doing that while I was learning, which obviously if I didn't do it at my job, I wasn't doing it when I wasn't doing it when I was learning. You know, I oh, I can't imagine. So please please heed that advice. Please take it seriously. Um, and I hope you guys learned something today. If you have any questions, comments, concerns, leave them in the comment section below. Otherwise, like, share, and subscribe, and we'll see you in the next one.